stood there frozen. Its dark eyes stared back at me through the undergrowth. They looked human, but somehow wild. I carefully took a step back. I didn't want to frighten it. Who knows what it would have done? Just as I went to take another step, a loud bang was heard from the other direction. A gunshot, maybe? Its head darted in the direction of the shot, and it rose from its hiding spot, easily clearing the bushes and standing something like seven foot tall. As another shot rang out through the forest, it turned, looked at me again, then in a few huge strides, once again disappeared into the forest. California, the Sunshine State, home of Hollywood celebrities, stunning landscapes, and giant hairy men. And no, I'm not talking about David Hasselhoff in Baywatch. I am, of course, talking about the Sasquatch, or Bigfoot as it's commonly known. You're more than likely pretty familiar with the myth of Bigfoot. It's something that is completely saturated pop culture through movies like Harry and the Hendersons and TV shows like Finding Bigfoot. But despite all the popularity, the myth of California's Bigfoot remains just that, a myth. Sightings in California have been going on for centuries. You've probably seen the famous Patterson-Gimlin film, which appears to give a very clear image of Bigfoot wandering around the Northern Californian forests. But for every true Bigfoot believer, there are twice as many skeptics claiming pieces of evidence like this are nothing more than a hoax, or just some guy in a gorilla suit. But let's not get bogged down by the skeptics. As Michael Gove would say, I've had enough of the experts, let's instead dig deeper into the folklore and legends behind this popular cryptid. The modern Bigfoot is thought to be a progression of the stories of wild men found throughout the indigenous people of the Pacific Northwest coast. Now although these stories do tend to vary in description of the creature, these are mostly all found in the same kind of locations, which makes many people believe that the Bigfoot phenomenon is something that has been going on for centuries. Your typical Bigfoot is said to be around 7 to 10 feet tall, but reports vary with some even claiming heights of in excess of 14 feet. Claims on what the creature actually is though can also vary wildly. Some believe it's an unknown species of great ape. Others would speculate it's some kind of multi-dimensional being, something akin to an alien I guess. If you were to ask me though, I'd probably point you in the direction of the Gigantopithecus. Many eyewitness reports describe the creature as having long arms, some even reaching down as far as their knees. Now that feature alone would seem to rule out any speculation of it being a misidentified human or even a black bear. But this is, of course, reminiscent of the great apes. Gorillas, orangutans and chimps all exhibit this long-armed trait, as does the previously mentioned Gigantopithecus. But for all the speculation on Bigfoot, we can't ignore the hard facts. There is no concrete evidence that Bigfoot actually exists. No undeniable film footage, none of them caught alive, and none of them even found dead. Which, if they truly were as widespread as claimed, then surely one would have turned up at one point. Sure, there are plenty of footprints, hair scraps, and even a butt print. But until one is actually found, dead or alive, we'll never truly know if the Sasquatch is more than just a legend.